All right, hey everybody, and welcome to a 90 minute art challenge with me, Bobby Chu, and my co host, Masei Seki. Yay, hello. Today is the uh, 15th, 15th 90 minute art challenge. All right, so mm -hmm. a little housekeeping here. I want to show people where to go to get this, um, to participate with this challenge. Okay, so. Let me just show this. This is our Tumblr account. All right, so you can go to uh, Tumblr and then look up 90 Minute Art Challenge or Tumblr slash blog slash 90 Minute Art Challenge and you can get the image for today and today's image is this one. All right, now the other thing about this is that you can upload your uh, your 90 minute art challenge, hashtag 90 minute art challenge to Instagram, and then we will show some of our favorites. And actually, I already picked out some. I'm yeah, there's say. some amazing ones. Fernando, yeah. holy smokes, Fernando, calm down. This is like insanely <laughs> good, insanely good. By the way, he's using magma to do this. Did you know that, Masse? Oh, I did not know that part. Yeah, I just I saw thought, it and I was like, wow, that's good. I thought it was Photoshop, but holy smokes. Way to go, Fernando Mendez. V is the next one I want to show. This one looks kind of um, traditional. I think it is. It says char charcoal drawing, charcoal portrait. Wow, 90 uh, minutes. Uh, I think it's 90 so minutes. And then Noah, Noah Cat here. Yay, Noah. I love how she included all of these. Look at, like, this must, I'm guessing this is the first one, the second one, mm -hmm. third mm -hmm. one, and then fourth one. You can really see the progression, you know, and this is like, it's not over months, it's just over a little bit of time doing one after mm -hmm. the other after the other, learning. Awesome. And then, hurry. Ooh. Oh, I like the lighting in the it's back. Awesome. Oh, look wow. at that. Transforms, oh transforms. So good. So do the 90 minute workout with us. It's good for you, you know. And um, if you do, we just might show your stuff next time. Awesome stuff. All right. And, uh, on the lower part of the screen here. What is this program? What program is this? This is Magma Studio. It's a free painting program. It is free. You don't even need to install it. You just go to magmastudio.io and uh, sign up for an account, make a board, start painting, drawing. You don't even need to install it. What you mm -hmm. do need to do is use Google Chrome okay use google chrome that's what it's optimized for also if you're on a pc and you still don't have pressure sensitivity it's probably because you hated windows ink <laughs> as you got onto your computer a while back you probably went into your wacom properties and turned off windows ink so you want to go into your wacom properties click on your pen and then you'll see three little tabs that you can click on the third one says calibrate when you go click on that one you should see on the lower left hand side a little checkbox that says windows ink make sure that's checked on and then away you go you should be totally fine if you have any issues after that just try uh, restarting your browser okay restarting your computer there should be no other issues um, mm -hmm. if there were any issues at all. So let's go on work. to this. Oh, sorry. No, I was going to say turning on and off things always solves every problem for me. Yes, yes. And a kick, <laughs> a kick sometimes helps yeah. as well. Not always recommended. <laughs> I like the differences in our sketches right here. You're definitely taking a lot more care, right? And then you spent the time to lay in the ground uh, real mm. quick. Mm -hmm. Just to establish, um, for me, it was more to establish the, the horizon and also the value from the sky and the ground. 
I did peek over because like with Magma Studio, we're actually painting and drawing on the exact same board together, which is very motivating. And a very good kind of learning tool just to see the other person, you know? I've been picking up on stuff, you know? So when I was watching you paint the ground, right away I was like, oh, geez, I should paint the ground. <laughs> I, I think I was the same for you because I was I was zoomed into my window and then later I zoomed out and then I peeked at yours and uh, this was a bit later on but I saw you laid down the trees and I was like oh I forgot the trees let me put that down too yeah and uh, by the way I don't even know if I said any instructions but every day or every we week twice this week we're gonna be doing mm -hmm. a 90 minute workout it's very simple we give you the topic and then you um, you have 90 minutes to paint and draw whatever you want. If you want to go over that, go right ahead. But this is really meant so that uh, people with things to do uh, can still do those things because it's not going to take mm -hmm. forever. It's going to take 90 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And it's good for perfectionists so that they don't get so, you know, oh, into totally. it. Totally. Hey, can I we? Oh, oh sorry, go ahead. before everybody in the chat goes, hey, how do you have these custom brushes in Magma Studio now? How do I get those custom brushes? Well, the Magma Studio is our program. You know, um, we are part owners of this program. So we get to tinker with new stuff, feature stuff, test stuff, and we want to show a bit of it and put it into action and see it, test it out, see how good it works. So uh the the incredible team has put together a few uh custom brushes for missy and i to try out yeah and they're, and they're great so far they really help with the, the painting process yeah very simple very simple stuff you know um mm -hmm. nothing too too fancy but you don't really need that many fancy things to do a good painting. That's true. I feel like at some point, some softwares, they just get a little too meaty and that's hard for beginners to start. Yeah, you get too focused on like, which brush achieves the, like this texture the fastest or this look the fastest. Maya was like that for me when I was starting off. Um, mm. a lot of things to look at and ZBrush very difficult for me to learn um, because there's just so many things there's so many things to kind of look at so many knobs and dials yeah oh, ZBrush. oh I gotta finish doing a little housekeeping here so um, yeah. on the bottom on the bottom banner here it also says upload your Instagram or upload onto Instagram with the hashtag 90 minute art challenge. I mentioned that um, you could get the image on Tumblr and Discord. So instead of Slido today, I'll still look on Slido, but instead of Slido today, today we're using Discord because um, Patricia, our incredible uh, Discord guru, has created a uh, to stream discord a while back and um that's where people study and hang out and and you know do their their 90 minute workout mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna get to that pretty soon and um last little bit here my own self-promotion i hope you don't mind <laughs> yeah. but i've been teaching a class and i'm i'm teaching another class starting november 23rd i'm not sure if there's any more spots left but there's generally not too many spots um, in my classes so that's digital painting class with me on schoolism.com starts november 23rd oh last thing oh my goodness this is a great one um nathan faux has just come out with a new uh artist workout today yeah. Oh, you know about this? I, I, yeah, I heard about this and then I saw it on YouTube as a premiere. Uh, not sure if it came out already, but I, like, I was thinking like, oh, this is going to be great because all of Nathan's videos are great. So good. So good. I am obsessed about these artist workouts now. You know, I was doing mm -hmm. Iris Competes, which was fantastic. Got me inspired to 
you know, do my own stuff. Next one I want to do is uh, Router Tulp or Nathan mm. Fowkes' new workout because his is on environments and I'm not that you know comfortable like I'm whatever comfortable with environments but I'm not that comfortable not like mm. creatures or figures or something yeah it's not your forte and look at you already on to the figure <laughs> I think I think I I go back a step and you know work on the background a bit more it is interesting because you are going to the figure first and you have such a light background. Yeah, so um, as I was laying the the character, or sorry, the, the figure, um, I realized like, oh, I don't know the relationship between the that person and the, the background because whatever I put down uh, in front of a light background, it'll look completely different when there's a darker background. So. I think you'll see a bit later on. I kind of take a step back and then go back to the background. This is me going, all right, I got to lay in something for the ground. <laughs> I could see a little figure already up here. I'm messing around with some little trees for way too long. I need to put in a background. And I just picked purple because I didn't even really look. I, I just grabbed whatever. So mm -hmm. I know that that's the wrong color, but that's the color I just kind of put in just for tone. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, the, the value is definitely there. But it's interesting because it's like, even though it's not um, the exact same color based on the reference, it still has that same feel. Yeah, uh, what's it called? I forget who is telling me. I think maybe it was Paul Lazane. He was like, the first thing that you pick up on is value. How mm -hmm. dark something is, how light something is. It's not the color. Mm hmm I was like, that's cool. That makes sense, you know, especially mm -hmm. with tigers. You got all these stripes and it's orange and it's running around as in a green jungle. It's like, how yeah. does that make sense? But um, yeah, they really do blend in quite uh -huh. well. But that, that's nice to hear that he said that because I always hear people mention like, you know, do value studies, it's values are very important. And I never really understood that because I always thought color was like, you know, top of the, the, I guess, tier triangle. But I feel like value, once you hit that, it's like whatever color you have after that doesn't really matter. Oh, Craig Mullins, he, he mentioned that in his uh, schoolism class. Oh, yeah. It's like as long as you nail the, the color, you can use whatever arbitrary color. Uh, sorry, as long as you hit the value, you can use whatever arbitrary color you want. <laughs> and he could go he could be trolling so much because like i've heard him <laughs> say stuff like he's like you know in my mind one of the best painters alive today and mm -hmm. you know i'm like what's the most important thing about painting craig and i'm like all ready to hear like the secrets and he's like it's not it's drawing and i'm like what what do you what do you mean drawing and he's like it's all about the drawing it's not about the painting i'm like mm -hmm. but you're the best you know one of the best painters <laughs> in the world are you telling me it's all about drawing jeez yeah that's funny maybe it depends on its mood <laughs> so everybody you know that wants to join in on the discord channel you can go to bitly bit.ly slash stream discord to find us and uh we have a bunch of people in the discord channel right now yeah. hang out so maybe we can um see if anybody wants to say hi have any questions anybody in discord want to say hi you have a question just want to say hello <laughs> hey patricia hi <laughs> good to be here fantastic i'm sharing my screen now by the way discord uh people so you aren't seeing a delay uh if you're watching this off of youtube I'm gonna draw along with you guys. Right on. That's what it's about. You know, that's why we're putting ourselves out there and drawing. Right now, it almost looks like uh, there's a decrepit barn in the back of Mercedes' <laughs> paint. I was about to say, uh, I was like, what was I thinking putting that very, like, bold background with... Because um, I think I didn't want to put texture yet just to block in that overall shape and then 
yeah, that's when I started adding all like the foliage and like the little soft edges. But um, it's interesting to see myself paint again and trying to remember what I was thinking at the time. I feel like it helps. It's like it's like medicine. You don't want it. You don't want to do it. <laughs> but it's good for you. It's good for you. Yeah, definitely. The some of the things I learned from this um, from this study. First of all, I did notice you and I, we went a lot faster this time compared to the last mm -hmm. study. You know, we mm -hmm. were pretty much done, I would say around an hour's time. Um, and yeah. then we didn't really know what else to do. And Discord people, if you want to share your screen while you do the challenge, then, um, then I'll put you on the screen at some point in the, uh, on the stream as well uh oh so, so the thing that i uh, that i really appreciated doing this was the whole entire the grass in the front all the values are so close together mm -hmm. you know and you had this wonderful mixture of these different hues you had those warm kind of reddish purpley looking plants versus the yellowish green kind of uh, foliage. Uh, but then they were all so close together. Mm -hmm. That was a bit of a challenge because there's times when um, my there the values were too contrasted. Mm -hmm. So I had to like keep going back and readjusting and finding the right, right uh, color and value. So it was, it was a good challenge for sure. Nice. I see somebody is sharing their screen here. Oh, maybe they just stopped. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's go to Discord for one second here. Boom. We see Noah on here using a fancy brush. Tilt sensitive. Very cool. What else is there? Anybody else? All right, well, anyways, this is the Discord channel, so you could hop on in, in here and uh, paint and draw along with everybody else. All right. So we do have some Slido questions coming in. Why don't we go to some of those? <clears throat> First one is, any advice for winning the mind game when dealing with hand and wrist pain? While I feel better that two months ago I started, or sorry, while I feel better than two months ago, I think that's what this person mm -hmm. trying to say. I'm starting to doubt that I'll be back next month. Right. So have you ever, I know I, you know, or you know, I've dealt with my share of yeah. wrist and hand pains. Um, but have you? Uh, fortunately, not yet <laughs> hopefully i won't get it um but i i'm a pretty avid uh rock climber so i feel like that's been helping a lot with just like uh you know working the tendons and the muscles so you know i'm, I'm always moving it around trying to strengthen you know just trying to strengthen it so i feel like that's been helpful for me to yeah. just you know keep keep working it and having different movements because drawing is essentially the same movement over and over. And if you keep doing that, that's going to damage it. For sure. Um, definitely noticed uh, that you don't have any pains because, and you climb rocks. So I'm like, yeah, probably makes <laughs> sense. Um, putting two to, and two together. Here's, mm -hmm. here's one that I, I, uh, I do, you know, you can try it, and I, I would say, like, I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm not a doctor, but this is what I do. So some, some Asian people, they might go, yeah, that looks very familiar. The whole thing is I have a spatula, all right? I just have a, or not a spatula, a, a Painting, painting, spatula? painting uh, palette knife. Sorry, 
Oh. I was looking at a spatula earlier. Uh, <laughs> palette knife. So it's not sharp, right? But it's flat. Is that, is that from the hardware store or an art? It's from Curry's. It's from oh, an nice. art store. Yeah, it's from just from an art store. So okay. what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of Vaseline on there. And then I'll just go across my arm, you know, wherever mm -hmm. it's not feeling good. And then before you know it, you'll start to see, like, I'll see a strip of muscles just light up, even though I'm doing the whole entire thing. Oh. And then it, it'll look bruised for, like, you know, a few hours maybe, depending on mm -hmm. how congested everything is. But from from my understanding and what it feels like to me is like you know you have problems a lot of times with your arms because uh, muscles bones whatever and blood is all just kind of clogged up in there mm -hmm. you know it's not flowing as well blood flow is not flowing as well so if you can imagine how does it flow it flows through these little straws called you know veins and, and such and so with the palette knife, I put Vaseline so I don't, you know, scratch up my skin or anything. And I just go across kind of pushing the blood mm -hmm. through the blood vessels, getting everything to flow again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then stuff tends to, it just feels so much better for me. Mm. I'm not a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've definitely seen um, some of my Cairo friends have it on themselves because they use a, a spoon. Yeah. And they use the edge and they just like scrape their arm and then it looks like pretty bad bruises, but they're like, oh no, this is just to, you know, let the blood flow. Yeah, it doesn't last for long the, yeah. if there is any kind of bruises. The interesting thing is it's like an anatomy course. You know, you could do your whole entire arm and then you see just one strip of muscles light up. Right, and that, yes. that just shows you that's where the problem was. Mm. All right, let's go on to another question because like medical questions are making me nervous. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> yeah, but doctor. that's what's helped for me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and, and the big one has been working out, you know, mm -hmm. I don't like working out, but seeing Masse like climb rocks and not have any problems. <laughs> Keeps me motivated to work out, and that's that's helped my arm tremendously. Yay. That's good. Any questions in uh, Discord over there? Yeah, maybe we can go back and forth. All right, why don't we move on to another um, Slido question here? So, and that's slido.com, hashtag stream, and then you can type in your question there. Uh, this one's from Anonymous. It says, for me, I think it's better to do 30x day per image. 30 days per image. So three days on each image. But, okay, I'm not totally understanding. Let me just read it full on. For me, I think it's better to do 30x day per image. So three days on each image. But what do you recommend to start uh, the challenge from the very first image? Or, okay. Three days on each image. I, I hope they don't mean just doing 30 days, three image each day, like this, the same one for a whole month, because um, oh. I think that's counterproductive. I, I hope that's not what they mean, but if they do mean that, I, I wouldn't really recommend that. Just because um, I feel like you can learn so much more from doing other studies. Oh. But, or they mean um, 30 different image, so like three image, sorry, I'm kind of well, I think maybe, I think maybe like if I could just step in there, it, it's like, yeah, yeah. just make sure that you're still progressing, you're still learning. Because um, mm -hmm. there's definitely like, there's paintings that I could show you, Masse, where you're, you know, you'll be like, 30 days is not enough to study this painting. This is friggin' epic. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's some where you're like, yeah, 
I don't need 30 days to study this, not at all. Mm -hmm. So it kind of, I feel like it also depends on the person's uh, skill levels. I see, yeah, that's true. Right, like think about how you were in high school, perhaps. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's how somebody might be right now in their 30s, who knows? Mm -hmm. So then they might want to study a, a picture like this for like literally 30 days. Mm -hmm. Right? Not everybody's as good as you, Masse. You gotta remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All yeah, right. I I just think it's important to do to do other things at the same time, but not like solely yes. just this. That that's what I was thinking. Hey, and um, that's totally legit. Mm -hmm. uh, but the question asks, like, do you recommend to start the challenge from the very first image? Um, it doesn't matter. I don't think it really matters. Like, each one of the studies are are challenging in their own way. Like, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was one that, it was a study of a painting. And it was a yellowish kind of painting. Orangey, yellow kind of painting. Um, and it was of this person in a, a little person in a little boat. That one, color-wise, wow, so complex. It seemed like, it seemed so simple, but then when I got actually into it, it was definitely very complex. Let me see if I can show you that image here. Um, this one, right here. Mm, Jacob. That was good. Yeah, because like, you look at these tones and it's like these tones are actually gray or something like that i forget what it was but the color mixture of everything was just like insanely cool once you really start mm -hmm. to study it mm -hmm. all right let's go back into discord here there's a whole bunch of people painting and drawing now it's looking pretty awesome there's Noah Anastasia oh. oh cool look at that got a little figure going hey nice ghostly CJ Ellison Right on. Wow, this Ooh, person's gotten pretty good. far. <laughs> uh, I like how there's um, a window with the values open. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's a good way to study. A guy draws. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Colors are looking good. Way to go, everybody. Yeah. Right on. Wow, this person. Oh. So make sure uh, whoever that is, mute your mic if you're, um, or mute your YouTube if you're going to turn on your mic. All right. How long do we have now? We've gone for approximately 30 minutes so far. So you have about an hour left. Okay, everybody. Let's go to. Does anybody have a question in in Discord? Does anybody want to talk about anything? All right, we're gonna go back to Slido. Everybody's concentrating real hard, doing <laughs> their paintings. Anonymous asks if you've been gone for too long. Do you rec Do you recommend uh, starting new accounts on social media? if you didn't even have a large following before you stopped. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you, you know, you start your social media, you didn't go too long before mm -hmm. you stopped and then you start a new account later on or you start up, a, you start up again later on, do you want to use the same account, right? So, yeah, what do you feel about 
when you can see an artist's uh, really crappy drawings from like 10 years ago on the same account. Oh, I love looking at that because it kind of shows like, oh, look how much they progressed. And that means I can progress that much too. Yeah. It's like, it's like you see them as a, a human, like a normal artist, just like all of us. Like they started somewhere. So it, it is kind of nice to see like their old artwork from a long time ago. I think so too. You know, there, it, it's like you create like an attachment. All right, whose mic is on? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for turning that off. Um, yeah, you know, I feel like that's one of the big reasons why Justin Bieber blew up in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Right, because people followed him. They followed him from the internet. He was like one of the first internet superstars. Followed mm -hmm. him as a tiny little kid doing the drums and everything just like street performances um, but then there's also the other side of things where a person just comes out blazing and you're like who is this person where did they come from you know mm. there's that whole mm -hmm. vibe too yeah yeah that's true if you just want to like hide for a bit and come out and incubate <laughs> yeah um i guess another way to see it is like if you want to rebrand yourself in a way so like if your previous um account had like a certain style but then you want to detach yourself from that then that would be recommended yeah um but then if the, if you had like several fault like some followers on your account it's nice for those people to keep following your entire journey so, yeah, I yeah, wonder, I like, like um, okay, so I'm going to try to get the Discord people in on a little discussion here, but uh, I wonder what you would do if you were like Noah Bradley, where cancel culture has really taken, taken you out and like really done some damage and put your name all over the place and whatever like what that's such a bad example <laughs> never mind <laughs> i don't even know what to do there like shoot and i don't know what went on just let mm -hmm. me let me just mention that i don't know the guy so i think you know best thing to do is just move on uh sorry i even brought that up um but i have thought of doing like a code name for my username because mm -hmm. chiu i felt like it wasn't that easy to pronounce for a lot of people in the beginning mm -hmm. i'm gonna say seki i'm i'm pretty sure that that was a bit of a tough one as well right yeah not a lot of people knew how to say my name <laughs> have you ever thought of having like a a code name kind of handle mm -hmm in the in the beginning i did definitely just because um it's e i was thinking like oh maybe it'll be easier to remember and then people recognize it did you ever have one did you ever have a handle uh for online gaming i did but for art uh oh i did on deviant art <laughs> i i did have like a a code name what was it called I think I don't know who came up. I think my brother helped come up, come up with this, but it was like Blue Rapid, and oh. that, that started because I was I was playing like um, you know Maple Story, and uh, there was a game called uh, Guns, I think, and I was like I want to be fast, and I like the color blue, so <laughs> that was Blue Rapid. It was, it was weird. That that definitely did not stick. Can't tell you something else. When we got to this yeah. point, I looked over, and I'm like, I feel like I'm doing pretty good now. You know, because yeah. I've got the ground in there. I don't have mm -hmm. a head, but I like the softness of the lighting that I'm starting to work out here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really that rapid, just 
put in those splotches for suggestions of vegetation that really help to um, make that foreground feel, you know, more, more done. Mm -hmm. It like sets the whole image up for yeah. that character. Yeah, my handle is still like, you know, this YouTube account right it's digital bobbert that was my handle for such a long time <laughs> it it must be hard to like detach yourself from that because a lot of your social media handles that yeah yeah instagram why did i choose that for instagram next time <laughs> i but then you know it's so weird because it's like as artists a lot of us we don't even like attention that's why we got good at art because we just stuck to ourselves and we just painted mm -hmm. and drew and did stuff that we like mm -hmm. and then later mm -hmm. on it's like well you need to get attention to get jobs it's like but i don't like attention okay i'll put my art out there and then it's like oh, nobody's responding nobody's responding i feel so bad and then you get to a point where lots of people respond and then trolls come <laughs> you know it's like yeah. you could just never really win um that's true yeah i don't even know where this kind of topic came from but i, I think it's so it's such an interesting kind of world out there interesting ecosystem mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right like i don't i i like my anonymity um, I like the perks that come with people you know knowing who you who you are or whatever you get a little nicer treatment in certain mm -hmm. events and stuff but uh, trolls oh they could just ruin your whole yeah. day yeah have you ever it's gotten like, a troll before uh not that I can remember, but I have had people say like weird things and I'm just like, I, I was taken aback obviously because I haven't really experienced that before, but it just seems like one of those things that comes with, you know, having a name for yourself, getting bigger and having more attention. That's what people say. That's what mm -hmm. people say. And well, it's just one of those things that comes with uh, success or it comes with, uh, that kind of stuff but um i don't know i just feel like nowadays uh, there's all this cancel culture why can't cancel culture cancel out trolls you know mm. just like jump on every freaking troll that comes out of the woodwork because mm -hmm. it's just not right yeah yeah it's not fair definitely not fair i'm i am very thankful though it, people probably think i I got lots of trolls or something. I don't. I just see it like where people jump on stuff so easily, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they're like internet police. They're just looking for uh, people to hassle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are they called? Social justice warriors or something. Oh, but, oh. Yeah, that's, that's another way. Where that's they, a nicer they... name. <laughs> sounds cool. They, they try to do justice, but then it's like, like sometimes it wasn't even asked for but i mean you know pe people try to fit in and try to do the right thing but sometimes it can come off the wrong way hey by the way somebody's asking uh wow when did they get custom brushes in magma it's not out yet we're mm -hmm. we're actually we get to test them out and, and try them out so uh, these are things that we plan on um, having as add-ons when we launch our kind of uh, pro version add-on okay mm -hmm. that's the idea this software it'll remain free but we are working on add-ons that people can um, subscribe to or purchase or whatever uh, so that we can keep making cool stuff mm -hmm. some pretty cool features I think uh, the conversation you were talking about is so relevant right now uh, with the cancel culture uh, and oh. 
that people are so intense with it, like social justice warriors and stuff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I we... I remember a time where like I thought it was weird when somebody got in trouble for tweeting something. Do you remember mm. like in the very beginning of like Twitter or something like that? Um like people are just like, "Oh, that's just the place where you put opinions. It doesn't matter." Yeah. Right? And then it became very serious and then it became news. Which um... is funny. It's funny that now some news is like, oh, so-and-so tweeted this, so-and-so posted an image of this. Yeah. It becomes another way of communication, like how that person perceives things or thinks about things. Yeah. Um, Does maybe some uh, other true streamers have experienced something like that. I don't know. Just want to open the floor. <laughs> People are so shy today. <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to join. Yeah. And... Hey, Bobby. Hey, Kofi. Hey, Kofi. <laughs> yeah, the, the conversation is it's quite interesting. Um, for me, uh, the part that really caught my mind was when you're talking about um, um, your your social media handle. And like, I realized for some people, they they usually go out with like their actual names and like they put themselves out there and i also realized there are certain artists who like make their art like the face of what they are doing and they don't try and put themselves out there too much and like usually their username is like some cool name that they picked up or they got from their favorite book or something and that has always been interesting like i wonder if by having that level of anon anonymity, it helps you out as a creative or not. Like it's been something I've been thinking about for a while now. But yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, awesome. um, a bunch of times in the beginning, people would assume that K was a guy. Oh. Yeah. And wow. I'm not sure, but I, I do kind of feel like perhaps that played to her advantage. Mm -hmm. At the time? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um, there would be some like, I could like sometimes in the beginning, you can almost sense some sort of like bro talk going on. And then kids like, <laughs> hmm, okay, interesting, <laughs> you know? Uh, so there's that. And then mm -hmm. another part about this is like, it's just so much easier to remember a, a name like Sparth. Yeah. You know, like Lowish. It's just mm -hmm. so easy. But if somebody had to, you know, remember, actually Kofi is a pretty simple name to remember as well, but Kofi Ofusu, maybe not as much. Yeah, true. <laughs> Right, Masei Seki, maybe not as much. <laughs> yeah, and, and I've said it a couple times, I think, in little talks here and there. I, I don't know if I ever said it online, but like when I first started 15 years ago or whatever online, um, there was another Bobby Chu, and that was uh, incarcerated in California for murdering people. Whoa. That's not me. It's not me. Okay. <laughs> but this person, I think, was a convicted, you know, at least murdered one person. That's crazy. So then I, th I thought about, you know, should I change my name here? Because, like, I definitely don't want to be mistaken for that. Mm. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely yeah. not related, by the way. I do not know that person. <laughs> I'm looking for a cover up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so, sometimes it does help when it's like a very easy to remember, unique um, handle. Like you're saying, Spartan Lois, Lois. Mm -hmm. 
But、mm-hmm. um, for Loish, I, I feel like、um, people, because she became so big, she, people started to refer her as her, like, her actual name, like Lois.、Mm. But it might, that might be something that, that could come later on where people will recognize you and address you as your real name. That's, that's that、know. next level when you just need the first name, you know?、Mm-hmm. Or just the last name, Wendling. And then everybody knows Mullins. Everybody knows、yeah. Kanye. You know, everybody knows. True. <laughs> <laughs>、uh, yeah, I don't want to. You know, stay on that topic too long. <laughs> I, I heard he's going to be on Joe Rogan's podcast. Oh. Yeah. So I'm actually very interested in hearing that just for the <laughs> entertainment value. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Why don't we go on to another、uh, question here? And、uh, yeah, anybody can jump on in if you want to kind of give your two cents here. Okay, so、mm-hmm. um, do illustrators need to know how to paint everything from landscapes to characters? Is a creature illustrator a thing? That's two questions. A creature illustrator, I would say yes, that's a thing.、Um, do illustrators need to know how to paint everything? No, right? I don't think everybody. You know,、yeah. you don't need to know how to paint everything. Yeah, it's not necessary. Exactly. It's beneficial, but、um, I think. Do you I, have any artistic goals, Masse? Like, is there kind of a strategy to what it is you want to get really good at? I want to be good at everything. So, yeah, you want to you want to do <laughs>、um, everything. Cool.、Uh, I think I think、um, I just want to get better at capturing emotions <laughs> and making people feel. Certain things.、Mm. I think that's what I I try to I want to aim for and get better at. Currently, I'm just I'm just interested in learning. I'm just so、mm. freaking interested in learning right now.、Um, yeah. What about you, Kofi?、Um, what was the question again?、Uh, like, what are you interested in?、Um, My, my artistic, artistic goals? Yes. Oh, I, I, for one, I, my main artistic goal is to get good enough at drawing such that I can become a better visual storyteller. So that, like, whatever, as m a s e was saying, whatever like, stories I want to tell through visuals, I'm able to kind of accurately、um, show it on the screen. Or, like, on the book, on my canvas. So, any so, subject? Hmm, definitely human anatomy and gesture, and also perspective as well. Perspective is like, I, I think it's when I say perspective, I mean environmental perspective. That's like one of my weak points. So, I definitely want to get better at like doing environments in correct perspective. You know what I'm really weak in? Is um,、mm-hmm. uh, like a、uh, really dynamic perspective with posing. Exactly. Because we、mm-hmm. never do that with character designs. You know, you never want to see a fist as big as the guy's head or something <laughs> like that.、Uh, you know, well, how am I going to model that? Right?、Mm-hmm. So we don't really do that. But I love because. I was talking with Miss A before this、uh, stream about、uh, my love for One Punch Man right now. And there's so much cool animation in that with like all this like crazy perspective.、Um, yeah, I stink at that. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 that's something that、uh, an artist like Ken Jong Gi does. That、yeah. like, really makes me envy his. Talent and his skill because he makes it look so easy, like drawing out dynamic scenes and poses. He makes it look very easy. I'll give you another one Alvin Lee.、Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. 
his dynamic <laughs> posing with like the perspective and everything pff, one of the top really top mean. top it's insane what he does it's yeah because yeah. he'll do you know kim jong gi he's like human maya 100 <laughs> percent. you know he builds stuff in his head like 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 maya but um <laughs> Alvin Lee, he does these poses with the perspective and everything that just looks so mm -hmm. freaking cool. So mm -hmm. beyond cool. Uh, if yeah. anybody doesn't know Alvin Lee, they got to check him out. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, he's a phenomenal creative. Was that? I was saying he's a phenomenal creative. Oh, mm -hmm. totally. Totally. Yeah. Let's go on to another uh, question here. What are some of the most important things to you in the way of, uh, in the way to te Sorry, I think um, some of these questions are uh, from people that might not have English as their first language. So I gotta like read mm -hmm. it and interpret it. So what are the, some of the most important things in the way that you teach others in your schools and classes? What are some of the most important things? Uh, well, one of them, actually, I've been experimenting with magma. So I've been, I would do these, uh, I'd do these sessions with my schoolism students where I'd invite them onto a board and then we'd start painting and drawing together. And that way I can see exactly how they're painting and drawing. You know, and I could give them advice that I never gave before. For example, I was telling this one person, uh, you're going too fast, slow it down, right? You couldn't, you couldn't do that before because people hand in their paintings and then you look at it and you're like, oh, I don't know, maybe they went fast, maybe they went slow, and, yeah. uh, but now you could do that. Or I could say to somebody, stop them right away and go, use a bigger brush. No, no, use a bigger brush. No, no, no. Use a bigger brush, you know, and like keep like <laughs> on them. So the the learning curve is so much quicker. Mm -hmm. And just like, like this, like, like I was saying, Masse, it's not even one hour. And look at us. We're almost done. You know, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so like actually having somebody paint and draw with you a world of difference mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's why we were hoping with this program anyways for people to just start painting and drawing together have a great excuse to get together mm -hmm. there's so many people we're all alone out there even though there's so many people um by the way talking about so many people Look at all the people on Discord now. Holy smokes. <laughs> That's nice. awesome. Um, a lot of people are sharing their screen. Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to peek up some of you guys. Way to go. <laughs> Who else have so I good. seen? Anastasia. What's yep. Anastasia painting right now? Awesome. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. I, I have a question, actually. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, yesterday we were talking about in the, like in the um, hangout about how to take a break because nowadays we mm -hmm. a lot of people do have problems with uh, not being able like, we forgot how to get how to be lazy <laughs> like we don't have any anything to do besides work especially if you live alone yeah or just yeah. we tend to get uh, back very quickly to work but like the break is too short, so we cannot. Our eyes can't rest, and the hands are like also getting uh, <laughs> negative side effects. So, how what do you do nowadays for a break? Uh, I I exercise. I go down. I start doing push-ups for mm. a minute or or two. Um, well, actually, no. Like approximately a minute, ten seconds. I do push-ups because I can't do longer than that <laughs> uh yeah and then in the mornings though i wake up real early and i spend the first three hours of my day for myself 
you know so read meditate exercise whatever but i don't sit there and do nothing um yeah actively trying to uh, trying to relax trying to kind mm -hmm. of get ready for the day what do you mm -hmm. what about you guys um oh go ahead no must say you go you go first okay um i was gonna say um i did something similar to bobby uh i wake up uh before i start work the two hours before that i generally you know take that time to kind of wake myself up and get to relax really enjoy the start of the day so i read i drink tea i just read like some articles that are like you know that help me with you know i guess just like uh sorry i'm trying to remember what i read but a lot of like self-help uh stuff and then during mm -hmm. lunch time i force myself to go out for at least a 10 minute walk oh nice. it's like it's like it's like the same as like okay, I'm dedicating this time to do an art study. It's like the same as like, okay, I'm, I need to dedicate this time to exercise and take a break because that's equally as important as art. So mm. as long as you kind of like um, have that mindset of like, this is, this is mandatory, I need this, then hopefully that will change the way you take breaks and hopefully take more breaks. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? Oh yeah, for for myself, when um, I have to agree with Anastasia, like it's gotten more and more difficult to to actively rest because it's like there's always something going on on social media, on YouTube, on Netflix, a new series to catch up on. But what I do is definitely similar to what you, Bobby, and Marseille do as well. Like. I usually go out jogging. Um, it, it's a way to clear my mind. And I also, um, sometimes I try to meditate. Reading also helps as well, like reading some of my favorite novels and also some self-help books, to like like books on like being more organized with my life and schedule, scheduling like my work and managing my time and all of that kind of stuff. Like sometimes those are the stuff that I do to kind of, you know, take it easy and take time off work. It's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I think timers are pretty helpful too. Like, it's like uh, the Pomodoro timer thing I use pretty often. It's like 25 mm -hmm. minutes of focused work and then five minutes. It's mm -hmm. leisure time, relax time. Then it kind of tells yourself like, okay, I need to, like, I need that time to take a break so also that, like that's... what you eat um really helps i find mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like i used to eat a lot of carbs a lot of rice and bread noodles um and then when i i still eat some you know uh but i try not to and if i'm good and i don't really eat carbs then i i have like an extreme amount of energy like seriously uh -huh. yeah i don't need that much sleep at all i need like uh -huh. four and a half five hours of sleep and i'm good like i'll uh -huh. wake up by myself just no alarm i wish i could do that i love carbs <laughs> i do too you know i bought this disgusting loaf of uh cinnamon raisin bread on the weekend oh so, it's so heavy this loaf of bread i couldn't believe how heavy it was <laughs> oh i must have packed down the calories but um yeah after that i'm definitely i had a big salad this morning just because of the guilt uh yeah and the other the other thing is um i don't look at my phone for the last bunch of hours of the day Mm. you know because like when you look at a screen you just kind of wake back up mm. i don't know like i i need to be able to get good rest because i don't know i i feel like i have a bit of a harder time sleeping as it is 
So if I look at my phone, I don't sleep much. Yeah. It definitely gets your brain working when you start going on your phone. Yeah. And um, the emotional exhaustion kind of thing from all the crazy stuff going on. Like nowadays, I, I feel like um, I can't say much about any any of the drama going on on social media because I don't look at it. Mm, so I don't understand you. it half the time. I really don't. Um, yeah. Yeah, like I might post something. I might comment on the first few comments that I get, but that's it. I'm not surfing at all. Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't have that kind of exhaustion either. But mm -hmm. on the other hand, there's something to be said about staying informed, which I'm actually not very informed these days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I figure all the really important stuff Masei will tell me. So <laughs> I'm good. No, I, I'm pretty similar to you. I, I stay away from um, social media a lot these days, especially especially um, Twitter. Yeah. So I, I feel like I hear it through you where you hear it through K and then it's like <laughs> that's where I get my uh, sources. <laughs> yeah. And I know like people are definitely very emotional right now on social media. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for a lot of them that are so kind of invested in it. Um, you know, especially about things that they can't really control. They have no effect over you know, which just stresses people out even more. Uh, but yeah. No. Don't stress about things that you don't have any control over. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, Kofi, what are your favorite um, uh, development books? Or, yeah, I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking like self-help books. Yeah, yeah, self development, self help, organization, yeah. anything about kind of helping you out in your life, in your mind. Hey, um, for myself, the brand of the book I'm reading is um, it's by the guy who created the founder of Zappos. I think it's called Delivering Happiness. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And I yeah, read that one. And that's, the, that's the one I'm currently reading. But um, I've read a lot of books from uh, Brian Tracy. Like he has yeah. a book on time, specifically time management. And that, that's been Getting a book that has done. been... Mm -hmm. Getting mm -hmm. Things Done with Brian Tracy. I think he also wrote Eat That Frog. Ex yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. He did, he did, he did, okay. he did yeah. He did, so like, but... Like those, are, the question caught me off guard because I wasn't thinking about. I have a list, but I, I don't have it right in front of me. But like those are some of the ones I can mention off the top of my head. Delivering ha happiness, yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's a great book. Yeah. Yeah. Have... What about you, as well? Um, like lately, I haven't really looked at any. I I've been more just. Uh, listening to podcasts, if if I'm listening to anything. Um, oh, okay. But I actually have my phone right here. Mm. Uh, some that some that you didn't mention that I like. Mm -hmm. So one of my favorites, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen R. Covey. Yeah. That one's fantastic. Um, one that doesn't really have to do with relations or um business or art or you know organization mm -hmm. that i really appreciated was this one called celebrating partnership <laughs> it nice. just really helped to understand all the different kinds of relationships out there and the different ways that they work and different um, mm -hmm. and the different ways people think it's really cool. Mm. There's a bunch of stuff in there that I didn't really care for as well, but just mm. let you know. Uh, if I feel 
lazy, mud, mud, mm-hmm. sweat, and tears with bare grills. <laughs> that that one's a biography, but mm-hmm. yeah, he's always like he's talking about climbing some mountain with like frozen mud all over him and all this stuff, and you're just trying to draw, <laughs> like don't be lazy. Bear grills is climbing mountains. Mm. Um, the blood sugar uh, well that was a self-improvement thing for my diet and stuff which i highly recommend the 10 day Mm -hmm. detox diet it's called the blood sugar solution Uh, Mm -hmm. yeah that was great getting things done that's on my list um let Mm. me see the new psycho cybernetics the new psycho cybernetics i'll break it down for you it's as simple as this as we roll mm-hmm. through life um things will happen to us and then our brain will make a little program saying what it feels like what it thinks about that thing you know so like mm-hmm. You're a little kid, you you pet a dog, the dog bites you, all of a sudden you go, okay, (laughs) dogs are dangerous, I do not like dogs, right? And all of a sudden a little program is created. So this book is relating how brains relate to uh, computers, right? And and being aware of the types of programs that you're writing for yourself and the types of programs that life is writing for yourself, right? You got rejected (laughs) by that beautiful, uh, tall woman when you were in high school. <laughs> now you, you date nothing but real short people and you think that tall people are mean, you know, or whatever. These kind of things. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, other That's Brian awesome. Tracy stuff. No excuses. Eat that frog. That was mm. good. And there's another book that I read, but it's not a self help book. Oh, you get a little choppy there. Chasing oh, what? No, I was saying, do you, do you guys hear me now? Yeah. Awesome. I was saying there's another book that I read, but it wasn't a self help right. Dreams. And the book is uh, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Oh, yeah, yeah, The Alchemist. Fantastic. Yeah. Really, it's really a, great book. I um, recommend it to anyone. There's another one. Uh, actually, I was going to recommend one, but then I was like, nah, actually, it wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, someone mentioned Atomic Habits, and I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That one was a great one. It Atomic helped me build habits. the. Yeah, that one was a pretty easy read. It's by a guy named James Clear. Um, mm. He also has a YouTube channel, I think. But anyways, uh, he breaks it down. It, it's definitely one of those books where a lot of these are talked about in previous books and re- like in a way regurgitated. But this way, it was like a lot easier to digest and kind of absorb and apply to my mm. life, at least. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there's a. I have too many. I'm gonna stop looking. <laughs> and just scrolling it's, through all them. It's interesting how um, how these self help books also help with art because then it like, I feel like um, it's one of those things that we don't really talk about in school or like um, yeah, not too much outside of uh work, but I feel like it kind of helps you as an individual as a person Mm -hmm. and then that confidence kind of like bleeds into your work where you have you just like you understand my voice is and someone else is okay sorry um it's just interesting how um that kind of like affects your artwork of like how you're productive and how you use your time efficiently and you know your whole confidence so i just think these kinds of health self-help books are also good for your art definitely um i just found a couple more that i would 
recommend. One is the art of learning. Oh, that's a good one. That's a great book because it talks about exactly that, the art of、yeah. learning. How do you、mm -hmm. learn quickly? How do you learn so you retain it? How do you learn so you get good?、Um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that one.、Mm -hmm. And let's take a look at our painting here, Masse. Look at that. Awesome. You know, it is interesting seeing the differences between our two paintings, isn't it? Like yours. I remember. Go ahead. I,、oh, sorry.、Uh, I just remember looking at your sky and seeing how, like, oh, my voice is.、Um, I, I remember seeing how, like,、um, How you had all these variety of colors in your sky and it looked richer. And when I saw that,、oh. I was like, oh, I want to do that. Because, like, I guess when you look at it now, the, the colors are slightly different, but I feel like you captured、um, like、certain emotions. Well, you know, in the beginning, I wasn't planning on painting it the same. Yeah, that's what, I was, that's what I thought you might have been doing. Yeah, I was just planning on painting whatever it is I was going to paint inspired by、mm -hmm. the, the photo.、Mm -hmm. But then I changed my mind.、Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I think like the sky, the big difference there was I was layering on colors. So I wasn't like、uh, trying to pick a color of a section that. Like, I wasn't trying to match colors.、Mm -hmm. Right? I was getting、mm -hmm. an even more saturated color, but just using it in a, a less opaque way and creating you know, certain parts of the sky. So maybe、yeah. it was that. Maybe it was, you know, like a lot of times we try to pick that exact color. Yeah. But you could achieve the same kind of thing with maybe picking an even lighter color, but using less op opacity. And、mm -hmm, you get the same、mm -hmm. kind of value, right? Yeah. Yeah. It... One thing I、Your、really. Good. Oh, thanks.、Uh, one thing I really appreciated about this exercise was also the、um, contrast between the textures of all the foliage versus the beautiful white kind of cloth that this. This woman is, you know, has on her.、Mm. Right? It's just soft, very soft, subtle transitions. Did you miss anything? Did you find that you missed anything after you painted it? Because, like, the Joker one, the last one, I realized I didn't paint the ears. Oh. <laughs> Um, I don't remember if I missed anything. This one,、uh, the thing I, I forgot was、uh -huh. having the,、uh, the warmth of that the lamp,、um, having that light have a bit more influence onto the cloth.、Mm. Yeah, you have a touch of warmth there on, on the very edge of that cloth.、Yeah. Right, which is because of the light, the lamp that she's holding, but I'm, I、uh -huh. don't. You could say the light fades by the time it gets to her cloth, maybe, you know, so it just kind of <laughs>、yeah. affects her arm, but、uh, yeah. yeah. Now, here's another interesting part. You can see what I'm doing now. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I kind of feel like I'm done this thing. I'm going to add on a little shadowy figure poking its head out from the.、Uh, The trees there. At the same time, pretty much, like you were done, and you started to put shadowy figures. You'll see it in a bit, everybody, but you started putting shadowy figures into your thing too. Yeah, I was like, hmm, what do I do now? Oh, it'd be kind of creepy if there were like these figures that back in the,、um, the mist, the fog, and maybe some in the foreground. That's so funny. You know? <laughs> I thought that was like really interesting that we pretty much thought of the exact same thing、uh, 
for this illustration. Yeah. And we have about 15 minutes left, everybody. 15 minutes to finish your stuff. Oh, Patricia's screen is sharing a different Magma um, Studio canvas. With, oh, that's so cool. Everyone painted on the same one. Do you uh, see this, Bobby? Oh, cool. Here, let me put it on screen. Yeah. Oh. That's, That's cool. Really neat. I'm guessing you guys did this uh, last week. That's awesome. They Patricia, what's this? Do you want to unmute your mic, Patricia? Oh, I see. I'm mute. I'm mute. I was talking to you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, we painted this last week with the 90 minutes uh, of the Discord people. That's, That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. That's so neat. And uh, the left one among us, we played that game <laughs> after the 90 minutes to unwind. So uh, okay. I think uh, some people got influenced <laughs> and Kofi, <laughs> he was having fun with it. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And you too can uh, join the Discord channel. You can see it on the bottom of the screen there. Discord uh, bit.ly slash stream discord. Cool. Let me go on to a few more questions here and we'll try to wrap up these questions. So next one here is, uh, do you give yourself strict due dates? when creating personal projects. How long do you allow yourself to work on a project before moving on? Huh. I, I don't know. I, I think, I, I feel like some projects we give due dates and some we don't. Right, yeah. you say? I, yeah. Like, um, the, when we created our books, we definitely had like a strict due date because we had to, do a Kickstarter, send it out for print, so then have it shipped out. And uh, I've realized when I don't put any deadlines for myself or my own personal, personal work, then I don't get anything done. So there is something to, you know, that is definitely good and beneficial when you do have like a deadline. Are there any pros to not having a deadline? You don't feel the pressure and you don't rush as much. Maybe. I think that's what. Maybe. You know what? I feel like there are some things where it's like, it's best if there wasn't a deadline just to let mm -hmm. it. Cause like story, for example, is one where I feel like it's best if there's no deadline because yeah. you need to let these things marinate a bit. Um, or at least for me anyways. So maybe Maybe for others, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Like um, the whole Inktober thing, I've been doing it, but I haven't been strict about it just because I know it'll stress me out. And I feel like that won't help my paintings at all. Yeah. And it's like you're saying, it you do let it like marinate. You think about it like here and there. And then once you actually get to it, I feel like you're able to put it down on paper a lot easier. I, I lasted 17 days, consistent <laughs> images every day for 17 days. Yesterday was the nice. first day where I, I didn't finish some. Um, That's awesome. I was working on stuff. It's just, I didn't like any of it and I didn't want to be pressured mm -hmm. to put it up. So whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, so I guess it it depends on, yeah, it just depends on the project and how badly you want it, like how soon you want it out or how much you want to actually spend time on it. Yeah, the other thing is I, I think know yourself, mm -hmm. know what pushes your buttons and what doesn't, you know, like some people, if they have too much pressure, they do nothing. 
and some people need that pressure they need it to be like a week away before the big meeting before you actually start doing anything um, mm -hmm. yeah that one's a hard one to answer mm -hmm. kind of have to can, answer that for yourself yes can i ask a question oh yeah of course uh i saw uh, your uh painting workout with uh the iris competes uh of in your on your instagram that's right yeah and uh those look like very rendered but also a bit loose in a way and i really love it i wanted to ask how how long would you take these and do you do, do this like between work or other stuff or are you really committed to one full painting at the at the whole time uh just wondering um those ones are actually pretty simple because the idea is already there half the time it's just me um trying to trying to figure out what's worth painting and so i don't have that problem with iris's stuff which is why i like it um so mm -hmm. maybe one would take me uh maybe two three hours at the most they're, oh. they're very quick yeah oh that's so cool yeah okay thank you <laughs> you're welcome you want to see ah i was gonna show them <laughs> the thing i showed you today but i don't think it's ready and i'm like committed to finishing it yeah it'll be a good surprise it'll be a good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was working on this painting this morning, but I don't know. I don't know how it's going. We'll see what happens. I'm uh, looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, um, it's some fan art. I'll just give you that hint. Yeah. Oh, do you fan art? Yeah, because okay. I don't really do fan art very much unless yeah. I really like it, you know? Unless yeah. I really want to do it, so... Can you give like a hint what's about like a... No, that's all the hint. No? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Just, just that. Okay, we will we will keep the anticipation then. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know how much you want it. Hopefully I have something to show later on because now people are gonna be like, What was that thing you talked about that one time? <laughs> That I, I was gonna mention. That's also something that could help with um, personal projects. Is like putting it out there, uh, telling people you're working on something. Then it's like, okay, now you have to stick with your word. Okay, you know what? I'll make it extra special for the um, the people in Discord. I will show <laughs> you my little thing here. Hold on, and. Yeah. I don't know if you guys will know what it is. Hopefully you do. Oh, yeah, you can only see it on Discord. It's a little sketch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ooh. you probably don't know what it is. But We don't anyway. say, we I don't think, say. We keep yeah. anticipation. Yeah. <laughs> Some people who know will know, though. I was definitely having fun. I could tell mm. you that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you do. <laughs> yeah, <I> do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Well, you know what? Why don't we go to... You know what? Yeah, I can't show it yet. <laughs> I was thinking, maybe I'll just show it anyways, but then I, I really don't feel like it's just time yet, you know? So sorry, mm -hmm. everybody. But mm -hmm. what we can do with the last five minutes or so of the time, the 90 minutes, is we can take a look at everybody's stuff on Discord here. Oh, windows are moving around. Let's see. This is this is looking really cool. Oh wow! So they have a grayscale version, and then they have the photo, and then they have their own version, the different pose. It's awesome. What is this program, by the way? Do you guys know? 
Oh, anyways, looks really cool. Sophie. Oh, that's uh, cute. That's cool. awesome. What a cool idea, that. right? Oh, that adds so much story. Yeah. It's like a moment. That's what we should have did. Yeah. <laughs> Has Noah's going. Going back to Noah's here. Nice. That's good. Yeah, and so our next stream, by the way, is going to be what? Thursday, Mase? Yep, Thursday, same time, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Awesome. I believe um, Shuan is going to join us. <gasps> Yay! So that would be fun. I haven't talked to her in a while. All the way from one. Singapore. This one's not showing up. Oh, this one's Patricia's. We just saw that one. Awesome. Last little bit of housekeeping here. One last question, okay? This one says, I really love drawing. I sketch every day. Uh, I digitally paint and I animate also. My question is, I'm confused. I don't know what I should choose as my career. Hmm. What to choose as the career? Like, um, if you like to do that many things, I don't know. I feel like any one of those could be a good one. And mm -hmm. I feel like there's too much emphasis that people put on themselves of like, what should I choose as my career? It's more like, what should I choose first? Because as scary as it, as it might sound, the majority of people have more than one career through their lifetime. Yeah. Have you heard about that, Masse? Have you, you know, the, you know, like the statistics or whatever? I thought I heard something like um, average person will have like two to three careers in their lifetime. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Average uh, person. Yeah. I know some people that have, they're like, they have serial kind of careers. They have like 20 different careers as they... Every year is like the new thing. Mm. Yeah. And I guess I guess for that it can also be like a background painter career or like a character designer career or like do you feel like that it could kind of be like that as well? I feel so it's like, like you're yeah. not you're not necessarily you know locked into one thing, you know, working as an artist. Yeah. Like, half the time I wonder, what the heck do I do? You know, because, like, I paint a bit. And mm -hmm. then I, I you know, run a bunch of businesses a bit. Do a lot of meetings. Mm. So what do I do? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> um, but it's cool. I love it because I get to paint and draw with you. And, yeah. you know, learn and do all sorts of stuff. I feel like I've some how kind of designed my career into uh, like a two for one, you know, as long as I keep learning, then I'm doing my career, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, any last little things we want to mention here next, next week, Thursday, it's going to be the week, next or this week Thursday it's going to be the new thing it's going to be a new um, study I will maybe I'll put on the screen yeah what that study is oh shoot